Hope you're having a great day. I uh, found a really cool um, way to use Search Console and from Neil Patel. If you haven't been to Insight, uh, you should definitely go. He he gives a lot of really great advice and techniques and things. Um, another great guy, since I'm standing here and showing you this, uh, is uh, Brian Dean over here on Backlinko. Uh, he does a really great job and gives away a lot of amazing material. Um, so the the trick that Neil shows you is to go to Search Console. If you're not connected to Search Console, there uh, it's not hard. Just go through your Google, Google Analytics and click Search Console, and Google will guide you through it. If you don't know how to do that, that's another that is another tutorial for another time. For today, we're going to start as if you are on Google uh, Search Console. So you want to go to Search Traffic. Go to search analytics and this defaults to queries but you'll click it over to pages so you'll see it like this then you'll go to pages so when you go to pages it's going to show you a nice little list of all the pages that have gotten clicks and so you want to the whole goal here is to raise your ranking okay and so what you want to do is you want to i've already done this page so i'm going to do uh, this one here and i'm going to show you exactly how i'm doing it so what he shows you to do and what i did is it just clicked on the the pop out link so it's going to actually open the page but then you go back here into search console itself click on that page and it's going to show you for what um queries search terms you ranked for okay and for all of these this page has gotten uh rankings for it now here's the part that i'm going to add to this tutorial is i'm going to download this and instead of going csv i'm going to open it in a google doc and what that's actually going to do is open it in a google sheet which gives you a lot more usability of the data now i'm going to go one step further which i'll show you in a second um as soon as google sheets finishes working um what we're going to do is take this data and add it to a different sheet so i'm just going to quickly highlight this data you'll notice that i'm excluding the categories because i don't need those because they're already in this other sheet that i'm going to add this to okay so i'm going to add it right here pow it's going to populate into these that i've already done what i've done is i've frozen this row centered it but bolded it and set it up to uh, um, font size 12 to separate it uh, that's just the way i like it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to in this side i'm going to go grab that page url okay so now we're going to pop this into this sheet and now what begins to happen is i get a nice curated list of a page and then here are the terms that i can work into the page itself these are the search terms keywords that i can work into the page now this really argues strongly for having plus thousand word count content so a page with a total word count of more than a thousand because you need room for all these search terms because if you only have three three hundred words on a page then your uh, you don't have much room to put these keywords in. Uh, you'll and you'll get start getting busted for uh, keyword spamming. Now I won't use all of these, but uh, I love the position that it tells me where the position was. So I'm number three for mobile app versus mobile website statistics. So I'm going to work this phrase into my keywords. I've got more than a thousand words on that page. Uh, so I'm going to work that into my keywords and I'm going to look for others. Here's one 4.6 mobile optimization statistics. That's a nice one. This is 12. So it's just off page one mobile optimized website statistics. Those are going to be easy to work in. So what you look for is low hanging fruit that will broaden out your content and kind of fatten up the keyword uh, uh, solar system, if you will, that is on a page because Google is looking at overall what the page is about. It's no longer about jamming the page with one single keyword, but rather it's about having kind of a holistic look at what it, what it's all about. 
So hope this helps. So again, I'm going to walk you through exactly the steps that I took. I went to, we're going to shut that down. I went to search traffic on search console, went to search analytics. Then I went, well, here we go. I thought that was fast. I went to pages, then I went down to scroll down to where the pages are listed and I grabbed the page. I, I hit the pop out and then I went to the page itself. I mean the, uh, the, the return on, on search, search console, not, not the actual page. Then I hit queries, went down, Go back, you you grab, you kind of look over the list, however long you want to. Hit download. Went to It gives you a CSV or Google Docs. I chose Google Docs. Now I've got my master list, and this is another important thing to point out, that when I go page to page, see, I started with this one. Now I, when I went to Google Shows Date, you visited a page at SERP. When I went to that page, then I just added this to this master list. So see, I've got a separate one of these. So I have to discard this now or I'm going to get this pile up of pages. And that's what I didn't want. I didn't want to have a bunch of page stats all in separate Google Sheets. I wanted to have one single Google Sheet. If you wanted to, of course, I guess you could just compile all these and add them all to a list. But here, what you're going to end up with is uh, probably twice a year you need to do this, is do an analysis. And so what you're going to end up with is, depending on how many pages you're working on, you could end up with hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of these little um, Google Sheets full of this little small amount of data. So I would rather do 10 pages at a time, put all 10 pages of that data into one Google Sheet, then I've got a snapshot. You'll notice this one is dated, 9317. And so I've got this nice group of data from 2017, and it's all grouped and curated. I hope this helps. And again, go to neilpatel.com. He does, he does a great job and gives a lot away. Uh, you can see more tutorials on my site, on my YouTube channel. I don't know where you're watching this, but on both of those, I try to put out as many tutorials as I can, and I hope it helps with your business. Have a great day.